Guinea's anchor Berha is cautiously optimistic for its outlook for the current financial year ending June 2015 and is uncertain how the implementation of GST will affect its business. Managing Director Hans Esadi said the company has however made a commitment to prepare itself for the transition since October last year. Sales tax um, in, in general terms is a 5% tax that is added to the, to the bill. Um, GST is 6%. Um, but it is back and forth into the value chain and then the consumer pays at the end. Um, now, in simple terms, you could say the net effect in channels where currently there is sales tax is only 1%. In simple terms. There is a bit more complexity, but if you keep it simple, 5 will be 6, and there's a minimal effect. However, Esadi said what he is concerned about is the traditional entrees. Most, if not all, of these groups are exempted from GST, but must be managed and kept under close watch constantly. And if we don't manage, uh, what we will see, and that's what we've seen in other markets, we're going to get hyperinflation. And hyperinflation means that consumer prices go up by 10% or more. So six is a given, what we need to manage, and we're working hard with our distributors and with our customers to avoid hyperinflation. The government is also taking measures and the anti profiteering committee that's been established is there to try and limit uh, price increases that are unjust. As Sadi said, another major challenge for the company is contraband products. He said consumers are becoming increasingly price sensitive and this may push them to buy contraband alcohol. Hence, he hopes the authorities will continue to enhance their enforcement activities against contraband products. Guinea Sanker reported a 10% rise in net profit to 54.6 million ringgit for the first quarter ended September 2014 against 49.6 million ringgit a year ago. Revenue rose 20.7% to 393.2 million ringgit from 325.8 million ringgit. Joshua Lim, DHTV.